Police say the two men were arrested in Ocean View on Thursday by members of the Provincial Taxi Task Unit, which probes taxi shootings in the Western Cape. Sihle Sikohana has been charged with the possession of a prohibited firearm and ammunition. He also faces a count of murder and three of attempted murder in this court. On Tuesday, he'll appear in the Kailicha Magistrates Court in connection with a triple murder which took place in the township in December last year. The task team did so well in the past two weeks because there is also an accused that was killed in Woosley. He was wanted for four murders that were committed in the taxi uh, industry, one in Citrus and the other one in Ceres. Uh, he was also arrested uh, after having killed the father and the son. The son was 10 years old. So he was also supposed to 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 appear, but we are going to charge him, though he is deceased. A second suspect, Linda Suyeza, has been charged with the illegal possession of a firearm and ammunition. The state says the firearm was a semi-automatic pistol with its serial number filed off and is linked to a murder which occurred in Masipumulele in June this year. Police say another suspected taxi hitman arrested in KwaZulu-Natal will be brought before the Western Cape Courts. He's going to appear also in the Western Cape. Today he's appearing in KZN. He had killed the chairperson of a tax association uh, sometime in January uh, last year, that is 2022. So we are going to bring him this side as soon as he's, he's finished with the processes that side of appearance. Meanwhile, a three-day taxi in Biza is currently underway in Cape Town, following the recent deadly taxi strike. The crippling eight-day strike left behind a huge cost in human lives, property and infrastructure. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Simonstown.